Hi, I am Shurajit Ghosh and in this video, I will talk about the quick comments toolbar instead and how we can properly utilize this toolbar for modeling. Also, I will show you some tricks which I normally follow during modeling of any structure. In the last video, you may have noticed how I have included frequently used tools like the analysis or node to node distance tool in the quick access toolbar. Well, there are several other tools which we require during modeling like view or cursor selection tool. Probably you are wondering why those are not included in the quick access. The reason is as I need the modeling tools more frequently, so I have included those in the quick comments toolbar, which I can access directly from the white space. In the connect edition analytical mode, if you press the space key, then a floating toolbar appears. This is known as the quick comments toolbar. This toolbar is very handy during model generation or editing. By the way, most of these comments are not default. I have modified this toolbar as per my requirement and included several comments which I required during modeling. How and why these are included that I will discuss in this video. This toolbar has two parts. At the top, you can notice five different options. Selection, Label, Load, Geometry and Utilities group. These are basically the short version of the ribbon and using these options, we can access similar type of comments. For example, if we select the first option or selection group, then a new window appears with several selection comments list. All these comments are also accessible from the select ribbon. From here, we can select the node or beam cursor. Even we can select the members which are parallel to any axis. We can use this option during property assignment by selecting and isolating the members parallel to any axis and then assign relevant section. Also, we can check for missing property or highlight the members which fail during design. Similarly, from the geometry tools group, we can confirm the structural integrity and stability we can check for duplicate beams, or fan nodes, or beam plate connectivity issue directly from here. We don't have to expand the utility step for this. Accessing these tools from the quick comments is much faster and very helpful during modeling. There is another part of this toolbar. Just under these groups, you can notice several tools. These are the individual comments similar to the quick access toolbar and we can modify this as per our requirement. As you can notice, I have included several commands here including the node and plate cursor. Say we want to select few nodes to apply a point load or assign a support. Either we can change the cursor from the select ribbon or right click on the screen and select the cursor. Both of these require additional steps and it is always better to have a cursor selection tool somewhere, just like the VAT version. If we add this in the quick access toolbar, then during modeling, we have to move the cursor to the top corner. That's why I have included the cursor tools in the quick comments so that I can access it without leaving the white space. My suggestion is, Add the frequently used modeling tools in the quick comments, which we can access instantly with minimum mouse movement. And add less frequent tools like analysis or output tools in the quick access toolbar. I have also included the translational repeat, rendering and distance measurement tool here, which are frequently used for modeling. Another feature which I use frequently is the view management option. Say we want to edit a property or add a load at the sixth floor level of this structure. We can select and isolate this floor easily and then using the save view option 
store this floor in the memory. Provide any suitable name. Next time, when we require to isolate this floor, we don't have to repeat these steps again. Rather, using the open view option, we can simply select the floor and see, sixth floor level is now isolated using a single click. For a large model, this save and open view tools are very useful. I have also created several OpenStat codes for custom action, which I can access easily from the quick commands. Customization of this toolbar is very easy. Simply click on this arrow and a new command selector window will appear. This is similar to the quick access toolbar customization. Left window lists all the commands available, which we can further filter from the drop down category. We can select any command which we want to include in the quick commands. Use this arrow key to move it to the right window and further use the up and down arrow key to fix the position. Once done, click on OK. See, our new tool is now available in the comments list. I don't prefer to add any view selection tool in the quick access or quick comments toolbar as it can be accessed easily with shift plus right mouse click. If we want to change the view to plan or elevation, we can simply use this view toolbar. That's all from me today. I suggest you should arrange your tools properly in the quick access and quick comments toolbar depending on your activity. This will minimize your modeling effort. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.